Have you been on one of these glass bridges? Well, I haven't. So let's go. Me. Ah, oh, guys, that was such a long bus ride, but we've finally made it. We're at the Shi Lin Xia Stone Forest Gorge here in Beijing. Uh, now we're just waiting in line to get through the entry, and then we'll begin our hike up to the UFO glass viewing platform. Q and I have been stuck in the city for quite a while because of the tight restrictions of the Winter Olympics, but now that the Olympics is over, we are ready to soak up some nature. Let's hope that I'm still fit enough for the hour and a half hike up. Let's go. Can we take the cable car? Apparently, this is one of the world's largest glass viewing platform. But from here, it looks really kind of small though. But anyway, it claims to cantilever 33 meters out from the mountainside, what? which makes it one of the largest cantilever structure in the world. Competing itself with the skywalk in the Grand Canyon, exceeding it by 11 meters. Actually, I'm not sure why it's always a competition here. It has to be the largest, the tallest, the biggest. Well, not that I'm complaining because I get to experience it. As we continued deeper into the woods, the warmth from the surrounding parched flora gradually faded into an icy rock-strewn gorge. Because we only just passed winter, it's still very cold in this suburb. It's very far up north, so you can see the lake is still frozen. Meandering alongside a semi-frozen stream, the last thing we'd expect was to find ourselves in the desert canyons. Whoa, is this like natural? Probably not. It looks like a boulder gym. Rock climbers will go crazy about this. Look at the contours. Amazing. We arrived at this canyon-like area. They have this artificial waterfall here, but it looks amazing, really. We're about half an hour into the hike and I'm already running low on battery. But take a look at that shit. Better get started. What the heck? It's never ending. We should have taken the ropeway. <sighs> ah, okay, we've made it past the tiring stairs, but there's still more to go before we reach the top. Honestly, the dry landscape reminds me of the Australian landscape. It really looks similar. Look at that. I'm not joking, right? It's true. Boom! We've made it to the top of the artificial waterfall. Holy shit, it's just the grills. My god, so thirsty doesn't do very well with heights. So let's get the heck out of here. 
And just beside the man-made torrent, there was nature. Oh my god, guys! There's a travel time pool here! And that behind me is the seven-coloured pool. Because of the calcium carbonate deposits in the water, there are different shades of green. And due to the terracing, all the different pools have different shades of green, which is quite amazing. It kind of reminds me of the Lake Pamukkale in Turkey, or Pamukkake. Unlike that one, you probably won't want to soak yourself inside here, because I think you'll dissolve inside this. Is it just me, or does this not remind you of the scene in Black Panther, where the Battle of the Crown takes place? As I looked towards the vehicles of comfort in the sky, I asked Q once more if we could take it. <sighs> and just like that, the female tarantula establishes her dominance. Oh, it's probably too bright for you. You can't see it because of the glare, but that's a beautiful lake there. But anyway, we are almost up there to the glass viewing platform. Uh, somehow China has this dual entry fee payment system. It's sort of like you have to pay an initial amount to enter the park and then all the attractions inside have a separate payment. Huh? Like you have to pay a second time. It's like, imagine you go to Disneyland, you have to pay for the entrance fee, and then to take the ride, you have to pay for an additional fee again. It's sort of unique and ridiculous at the same time. So, on top of the $68, sorry, 68 yuan that we have to pay to enter this park, we have to pay 40, 40 yuan what? again to enter the glass bridge. But thankfully, because today is Women's Day here in China, we don't have to pay for the uh, entrance fee. So, but check out this video. <laughs> so what happened was, on Women's Day, the theme park introduced a 50% off all tickets for all ladies. So lucky him I guess, but not so lucky us. We've still got a long way to go. We're almost there. I can already smell it. While we were waiting for my 31-year-old body to catch its breath, we couldn't pass on the opportunity to do this. For peace and prosperity. No more wars. Uh, that was a bit lame. Let's try this one. For good luck and good fortune. That was really brutal, man. I don't know how we did it. But yeah, one step at a time, and we finally got up here. Uh, honestly, I was expecting a lot more people today because it's free entry, but looks like, no, we are the only cheap people around. Or so I thought. But anyway, let's accomplish what we came here for. When the wind blows, you can feel the entire like structure shake, sway, whatever you want to call it. God damn it. But sometimes the swaying becomes too much for some to handle. Oh. 
I'm literally holding on for dear life. But as long as you don't look down, it's fine. And the view, it's spectacular. I mean, look at the mountains and hills. It almost looks like a painting. So pretty. Alright, I think we have had enough of this UFO glass viewing platform. I can't take this anymore. Shall we go? I think we deserve something good to eat, right? Let's go. <laughs> what? We totally deserve this, okay? I lost count of how many flights of stairs we climbed up today. But anyway, glass observatory checked. Today. Many thanks for joining us. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and stay so thirsty.